It is possible to break your brain such that you believe yourself to be dead. Allow me to explain. A 32-year-old man with regular severe migraines began insisting that he was dead. He arrived at the clinic roughly 12 hours into a migraine that also featured intense photophobia, lacrimation, and sweating. But it was the symptom of believing himself to be dead that caught the researcher's interest. He said that what they were seeing is nothing but his corpse, and that he had died six months ago. The researchers noted that he did not accede to arguments that he was alive, meaning that he could not be convinced that he wasn't dead. He showed no other signs of mental illness, nor did he have a family history of any psychiatric disorder. What was this strange symptom of believing he was dead? Cotard syndrome, also known as walking corpse syndrome or a delusion of negation, is a disorder wherein a person believes that they, and or pieces of their body, do not exist. While it sometimes manifests as a belief that they have died, the delusion may also include a wide variety of other beliefs. These may include beliefs that parts of the body are missing or decaying, that they are unable to die, or that reality is no longer real. In severe cases, the person may believe that they no longer need to eat to survive, or that they are a corpse that must be cremated by fire. As you may surmise from those symptoms, this syndrome is often a subset of broader psychotic symptoms. There may be comorbidities with diagnoses of mental illnesses, such as bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, or a severe depressive disorder. However, not all instances of these delusions of negation have a broader psychosis component. When there are not notable broad psychiatric symptoms, we refer to that as Cotard type 1, sometimes called pure Cotard syndrome. If we return to the previous case, we see it was an example of Cotard type 1, because the person did not have any broad psychiatric symptoms, nor did he have a family history of them. In fact, he went on to recover from Cotard syndrome. He recovered from the pain of the migraine first, and then the man's Cotard syndrome went away, around one week later. The researchers followed up with the patient six months later, and he reported that he did not experience the feeling of being dead again. Because the Cotard syndrome disappeared, we consider his case to be transient, that is, temporary. But what about Cotard type 2? Type 2 occurs when Cotard syndrome overlaps with broad psychiatric symptoms, such as bipolar disorder or schizophrenia. Most Cotard cases are type 2, that is, they happen at the same time as a severe mental illness, such as in this next example. A woman with a diagnosis of bipolar disorder began experiencing delusions wherein she felt like a body without content. She felt as if her body was translucent, such that light could pass through her. She believed that her intestines and brain were missing from her body. She also refused to shower because she was afraid of being soluble and washing down the drain. Similar to the first case, she also recovered from her delusions, demonstrating another transient case. In fact, Cotard syndrome is usually transient. Recovery seems more common than not. In many cases, treating any underlying mental illness, such as depression or bipolar disorder, seems to alleviate the Cotard symptoms as well. However, this doesn't explain what is going wrong in the person's brain to create the remarkable symptoms. That is, where in the brain is Cotard syndrome originating? Unfortunately, we don't have a firm answer. Most information about the syndrome is purely observational, due to the difficulties of studying a mostly transient set of symptoms that vary across patients who usually show severe psychoses that prevent careful investigation of their physical brain. However, there is some structural and functional evidence that the brain is less active in a person experiencing Cotard syndrome. That is, smaller gray matter regions are sending fewer brain signals, which may lead to feeling like part of the person is absent or dead. One more specific theory about how this reduction in brain signals may lead to Cotard syndrome 
is that emotional centers in their brain stop sharing signals with the part of the brain that recognizes familiar faces. So whenever they see their reflection in a mirror, they don't feel the typical emotions of recognition, which leads to a feeling of non-existence. Overall, more work is needed towards precise mechanisms for this disorder. For now, Cotard syndrome remains one of the more mysterious and startling ways that your brain can break.